my channel and today I will be showing you how to build the easiest redstone clocks in Minecraft. So I will be showing you two different clocks and these are the ingredients for two separate clocks. This is for one separate clock, this is for other separate clock. Obviously you don't need a stack of items for it. Well I just got that. So uh, let's show you the first one. Oh yeah, but before I show you, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, alright? So for the first one, it's actually quite easy. You must place a piston like this facing you and place a block of redstone in front. Like this. Next, you must connect a piece of redstone dust to the um, redstone block so that there's an electrical charge coming. So you connect it all like this. You must connect the electric charge from that redstone block back to the piston, just like this. And look at that, it's a redstone clock. And to prove that this actually works, let's just grab a dispenser. And let's put some something in there. Look. We can grab, let's just put in blocks of redstone see look it's shooting out the redstone continuous clock so that is the first clock that I will that I would be showing you guys today so it's quite an easy build to see you, you only need a piston a redstone block and one two three four five six pieces of redstone dust now let's move on to the next clock Alright, for the next clock, you will need two hoppers, a p an item of your choice, two comparators, uh, redstone dust, and for like better um, uh, clock working, you would need a repeater. It's better to have a repeater. So first you'll place a hopper like this, and then place another hopper connecting into that hopper. Just like that. Then you will break this hopper and connect that hopper uh, into this hopper so that both hoppers are connecting into each other next you will place a redstone comparator just like this so that the two little bars over here are going in are facing that way and the first one is sticking the other way so then what you will do is that you will place any block of your choice into the item hopper only one though look so now it, as the block is transporting it is giving a redstone signal here and you can see that there's actually a redstone pulse, but it is very little, like it won't go that long. See, it's only one block. So in order to fix this issue, it is advisable that you put a redstone repeater right next to the comparator so that the signal is quite more strong, just like that. See guys, it works quite well. Let's grab a dispenser and let, let me show you that it actually works. Oops. It connects like this. Did the dispenser not shoot out dirt? Ah. Uh, Oh, it's because both of the pulses became the same. You should not connect the two pulses. Look. Now it is shooting out dirt because it's connected to one pulse. If you connect two redstone clocks to each other, they will make a fixed redstone pulse. Like, such as this. This is a fixed redstone pulse. It's not blinking. It will generate a fixed redstone pulse. See? It's all working perfectly. And that was my little tutorial for you guys. I hope you liked the video. And make sure to check out my other videos. Um, and yeah, please like and subscribe. I want more subscribers. Please. Anyways, uh, goodbye.